what's up ig gang welcome back to another video today we're going to my appointment to get casted so stay tuned for that What's up guys, so I'm just going to try to explain as we go here because it does get a little confusing so I just want you guys to be able to understand what's going on um, and I'll let some parts roll because he does explain them better. So as we see right there he's trying to find like a teletendon and then he's going to measure my lateral collateral ligament to my medial collateral ligament and then he's going to go from my patella tendon to the back of my leg as you see right there just find a good thickness of my leg in this part right here he's gonna go from my patella tendon to the end of my stump just to get an overall length um, of what I have left on my leg and then of course he's gonna write it down just to be able to keep that as a record Probably take your fanny pack off. <laughs> it was really exciting, guys. It was a cool experience, but you know, it was a little upsetting. I was a little upset because you know, I'm a young guy. I shouldn't be going through this but unfortunately i am but i'm trying to do as best as i can with my feelings to just stay focused stay positive all that stuff and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that on my other videos so it's something new to me as it probably is to you guys as well if you're watching this but it's exciting at the same time because you know i'll be able to walk again with the help of, of, of a prosthesis so right there he is using a stretchy bandage to kind of create a net around my leg around my stump that way he could draw on it he's going to draw all the components on my knee uh, my patella my tendons everything and you guys will get to see that uh, he has to secure them um, secure that net with that little belt that he put on me just so it doesn't move because that's going to transfer to the cast that he's going to be putting on me so yeah everything was pretty exciting um, it's pretty interesting how you know technology has grown so much for people to be able to create legs or um, amputees like myself back then when he first started he was using wooded legs so for me to actually be able to use more of the newest technology is quite exciting and just like I mentioned before he was going to draw all over my leg just making sure that he's getting all the components in there because all of that um, plays a role in the casting session once they also built my leg and all that crazy stuff that it's hard to explain if you're not going through this but i'll try my best uh, right there the other guy his helper he's gonna take a quick measurement of my right leg and overall height of my leg 
to create my new leg to the same height again, obviously. That way, like, I'm not two inches higher on my other leg, you know. Would be crazy if I am. So yeah, he is almost done drawing, and then he will get started casting it, putting all of those bandages. Of course, always taking notes, the records. So this is very exciting, very exciting news for me, guys. Like I'll be getting a leg soon, and you guys will be able to watch that with me. first layer of bandaging mm -hmm. is plaster of Paris that's impregnated into elastic bandage so it conforms nicely to the contours of your leg. Okay. And then the second layer is just fiberglass casting tape and just gives the outside strength okay. because this doesn't have a lot of strength in it. first came out with fiberglass casting tape in the 1970s, you had to have a special heat lamp to heat it up and when that started to cure, it would knock you over the smell. Yeah. It was so strong. Because you've been in the business since when? 73. Wow. Go to school for specifically this, mm -hmm. yeah. Prosthetics. This will dry in a couple of minutes, then we'll slide it off. Okay. A few moments later. Of course, we have to wait for it to dry um, so it doesn't break or for us to have the need to redo it again. This process was pretty quick. We weren't there for too long, but you know, just the drying process is what took the longest. But everything was pretty quick, everything came out pretty smooth. Uh, we also talk about just components that I specifically wanted on my leg, um, how I was doing, all that kind of stuff. So there was a lot of personal talking in there uh, before the casting, before we all got started. But yeah, there it goes. That's, that's my cast right there. He wrote my last name on it. And then just taking a quick look at it, just making sure that everything is okay. 
that the drawing did transfer correctly and man I was just excited I was really excited just to see the outcome of the cast but yeah that is that is the beginning of it next video would be me actually trying it out and actually walking so stay tuned for that guys how does that feel? Hmm? how does that feel? it's, just, it's a lot of compression it feels good actually. Are you still scared of the pen? Yes. <laughs> You'll be fine. What do you think? That's the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna. So, it's so weird. Yeah, and we'll trim that like he said. Is this. Yeah, it's a casting liner. And it's a. 32. So how long does it usually take for you guys to make that? Yeah, we will see you back in a week. So One this week. time, or next, next is today Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Next Wednesday. We'll see you next Wednesday. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, those, so a test socket, and this is our, I don't use this material anymore, but this is what it looks like. So basically it's yeah. a, comes in like a flat, piece of plastic mm -hmm. and then we heat it up to where it droops down almost looks like kind of a big bubble that's drooping down if you're to melt plastic yeah and then we have your model which we cast it today we'll fill that full of plaster and have like a hard uh, plaster model mm -hmm. so that'll kind of sit upside down in a vac stand we'll take once the plastic droops all the way down we'll take the hot plastic and flip it over and then apply vacuum and it sucks down okay and then you have your socket. So then I'll cut it out, trim it out, smooth it out, apply your components, your foot, and you have a leg. So it doesn't take, it's not as long as a process as if we were going to make your definitive right yet. Right. So what'd you promise him? <laughs> I told him by next Wednesday, he was asking when, how long it would take us to make it. Okay. So typically a week. Awesome. Cool. Um, cool. And then how how long will I be on the on the plastic one? On the test socket. Yeah, the test oh, socket. We'll, we'll watch you shrink as the okay. process goes along. Um, you might be in it for a few weeks. You might be in it maybe a month. Okay. Um, just kind of depends on how your life changes as right. the time goes on. Because if it changes sig significantly, then we might want to make a second test socket before we make the definitive okay. animated version. So there is a possibility of recasting. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're ready to go out front. Awesome. So how do you feel? Jeez. I don't know. It's a lot of emotions. Sorry, I kicked you. It's a lot of emotions right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You want to cry? No. Yeah. Why Maybe are you lying? Next week I will. Why are you lying? He wants to cry. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we gotta come back. In a little bit, we're gonna go get something to eat and then um, we have to go home and we have to pick up his boots, his cowboy boots, um, because he's obviously gonna be wearing those again. So we have to pick those up and bring those um, because they're gonna adjust his foot, kind of like what you guys will see in the video. Um, they have to adjust it for his prosthesis, so we'll for be back, point. yeah, for his height. So, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of, it's crazy, I mean, to have a new foot, like not anyone can say, oh, I'm gonna get a new foot, guys. Like, I know it's not my foot, and I guess that's why, like, it gets me a little upsetting, because you know it's not yours. But it is yours, though. It is, but, like, it's not your own, you know, so that's kind of upsetting. Own. 
it's but, yours it's designed for you i know by i you. know but like it's like it's not your real foot that's what i'm trying to say okay so that's kind of upsetting but it's exciting at the same time so yeah um what you guys just saw was me getting casted for the cup which is temporary for, right now which is a temporary cup that they'll give me to try it on to see if they if they need to do any adjustments and of course um for me just to see how to put in my foot and all of that stuff and they're gonna have it ready next week in one week so one week. when we started coming in they had always told us it was two weeks um so we had well, i had kind of planned out for us to do something in two weeks with his leg but we never expected it to be one week, one week so yeah well and then of so course like all those components that so today was just like for the cup mm -hmm. and then they get to order all the components for like yep. the foot and just yeah your foot and what's gonna be under the cup all the all those components so that's what you guys just saw today and hopefully we'll be able to bring you guys again once I actually get the leg so you guys will also see that and I just want to give you guys just a big thank you because you guys been following us you guys been asking us questions stuff like that like mm -hmm. all my friends all my family all the followers everyone just thank you for checking us out for doing this journey with us and you know if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit that post notification bell so anytime we do upload a video you will get notified especially this one because i know yep. a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video so yep. Stay tuned because the next ones to come are going to be even better. Even better. I'll be walking, guys. Yeah. I'll be walking. So thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next video.